Well, I remember when I was a kid, we would put on Amal the Night Visitors in uh, my sister's room with, our, with um, you know, some of our best friends. And um, I stood there, I was watching Mermaid and I was watching Beauty and kind of just wishing Howard could be there to see this. Because, you know, I, that's, I remember seeing pictures of Howard when doing a, a, an Aladdin when he was a kid. And that led to the, us writing the Aladdin when we were adults. And it's, it's the genesis of everything. It's where you plant the seeds. The kids are getting a master class in the course of one weekend on how to improve their skills, how to make their work better, and how to keep going. And they're encouraged. And I think the, the biggest encouragement is seeing other young kids doing it as well. And, it, and it's fun. I see people that are passionate about it, and they're all ages, you know. Uh, and I see the teachers that are passionate about it. You know, I'm passionate about what I do, and I'm a professional line designer, and I do that, and people pay me to do it professionally. These teachers are as passionate about these kids putting on the show or learning how to put on a show. It's months of hard work to get it right. It means collaboration. And what does that mean? It means that a work ethic, which is sorely needed in our country, is building. It means the idea that we work as a team is there, and that's critical for all societies, and it brings civility to society. You know, I think of what we do as like building a house, being an architect, constructing something that people can inhabit and make their own. And this is the ultimate test of that, seeing it on kids, because they're making it their own. They're taking the structure that we created and then breathing their life into it. It's really touching, really amazing. I remember when I did the original Sweeney Todd coming out of a rehearsal. Before we had done it on the theater, in the theater, and I said, I can't wait to see this done another way. Mm -hmm. And of course, it is one of the great musicals of the 20th century. Uh, I didn't know that beforehand. I thought it was, but, uh, and I, you know, when I see it done in a school or wherever they're doing it, with whatever facilities they have, it's always exciting to mm -hmm. see. They haven't been tainted, they're not jaded, they haven't been conditioned by, they're not afraid, they're not afraid to fail. It's a great thing, and they're not afraid to experiment, and they, they make their own rules, and they honor the material, but they do it with their own contemporary sensibilities. I started way back in high school. You know, I was on the stage crew, and I thought this would be a fun thing to do. So I've uh, been lighting shows ever since I got to New York when I was in my early 20s. Kids who are not good singers, not good dancers, not good actors, and don't aspire to be anything like that, get into the lighting, set design, the set construction, costuming, all of those things which are essential elements to make the brain of the audience go to another world and, tra and, tra and travel from their seat to the stage, which is what magic of theater is all about. And then when you see these young kids you know, and I'm talking about the junior high one uh, kids before they get to high school. Because in high school they may have an idea where they want to go. But getting them excited about it when they are small, uh, it's just thrilling. And the teachers go right along with it. And hopefully there'll be somebody taking my place that is sitting here uh, learning today. will think this is really the cool thing to do and we'll move right along and do it.